Hi, I'm Jennifer Fay with SFI. Welcome to our test lab. I'll be showing you a couple of our different uh, test fixtures. To begin with, um, this is our, our thermal protective performance machine, or TPP machine. This is the test procedure that gives a driver's suit, driver's gloves, shoes, all, all the thermal protective equipment, its SFI rating. And um, what Aaron, our test technician over here, does, he takes a swatch of the fabric. In this case today, he's testing socks, uh, flame-resistant socks. He'll take a swatch of material that's representative of the product that's being tested for certification, and he'll place it on the, the holder in the fixture. It's clamped down to hold it in place. There's a sensor that he places on top of the fixture, or on top of the sample, and when he begins the test, the sample with the sensor is slid over the thermal load, which is a prescribed thermal load, a combination of uh, direct flame and quartz radiant heat. And the sensor basically reads the amount of heat transfer through the material to the sensor. And in the case of the, um, the actual standard, it reads the time to a second degree burn to a human skin that would be wearing the garment. Yeah, you, you'll see Aaron wearing a um, protective mask. We have this um, hooded vent that's actually venting any air, you know, the air out to the, out of the room. Um, but he's wearing that just as a precaution, just in case occasionally you come across something that doesn't meet the spec. And that's why we're testing. And it will actually put off a lot of, um, of smoke and more than sometimes the, the vent can handle. But, so it's just precautionary. It doesn't happen very often. And, and just, you know, to practice proper um, laboratory conduct and procedure, like best practices in, in working in the lab. Uh, but the, the result of the, of the TPP test, again, will give you um, basically the time to a second degree burn and through some very, um, <laughs> some very complicated calculations, the, the computer t gives us a TPP rating. And that's what we use to assign to the different garments. Um, you'll see the different SFI ratings within, say, the driver suit spec. Um, the higher the rating, the more protection that the garment gives to the wearer. So uh, the more time uh, before the start of a second degree burn, which means there's more time for the driver wearing the suit to get out of a fire in an emergency or to get give the emergency crew time to reach him, emergency response uh, people in, in the event of a fire. So um, this, this is the, the test picture that, that gives the, the SFI suits their ratings, the SFI 32A slash 1 for your basic entry level racing, and then there's all the way up to SFI 32A 20 for your nitro fuel cars, top fuel dragsters, and so on. But this, this is where it all, all happens to, to give you those, those ratings that you're so used to hearing about. In addition to the TPP testing that we do for our, our garment uh, specs, that, again, covering things like driver suits, shoes, gloves, uh, there's other tests that go along with the certification. In addition to getting the TPP rating, we also test each individual sample for flammability resistance. So here we have set up some, some samples for the, the vertical uh, flame test, where these will be uh, put into our vertical te flame test cabinet here. Um, a flame source will be, um, will be put on the edge of the fabric. It will be applied, the flame load will be applied for a, a given duration and then shut off. And then we time how long it takes for the, the, the flame resistant fabric to self extinguish the flame. And of course there's, there's minimum requirements for that. It, it, they actually have to self extinguish within two seconds. And so everything that has an SFI rating, any driver's suit, shoe, glove, etc also uses materials that pass this test. Um, some other testing we do utilizes this 500 degree Fahrenheit oven uh, where we test samples for, for thermal shrinkage or consumption. You don't want something, a fabric to shrink on you when it's exposed to fire, flame, or heat, high heat. And then over here um, we have horizontal flame cabinet which basically does the same thing in a, in a different configuration but we actually test other materials such as carbon fiber in this fi fixture. And then we have uh, another 500 degree 
um, fixture that tests flame resistant thread that's used to construct uh, the garments that are certified. Thanks for joining us at our SFI lab. We hope you found the tour uh, knowledgeable and informative. Um, it's our goal to make sure that safety is first and foremost out on the racetrack and not only to use the proper equipment uh, but to use certified equipment that that has been proven to show that it does the job that it's intended to do. So thanks again for, for coming to SFI.